I mean, you, you go to a grocery store, you leave 100 bucks right away. Yeah. And now the gas is so expensive. Yeah, want- I mean, I mean, right now, since, I mean, it's even more expensive than when you were here, but in this one year alone, um, you know, food prices are up 25%. Gas prices are up even higher. Um, in fact, um, you know, right now it's still where I live. It's still five, $6 a gallon um, and down in Los Angeles, it's $8 a gallon still in some places, seven, six, Eight. it hasn't really gone down at all. And you know, what's really frustrating is the politicians keep getting on television saying, everything's fine, everything's fine. Oh and no, I they, remember they, gas was like one, 180. Like I was actually yeah. going, driving around the, the country and going yeah. from Washington to Virginia to Maryland. It was like 180, two bucks. Mm-hmm. Like, don't believe them. I remember the prices because when, when I left, I remember the numbers. Yeah. And people kind of tend to, so they rise it more and more and then say, oh, look, uh, these prices, they're coming down. Yeah, but they rose like 20, 20 40% over I time. It doesn't count. It's cheating. It, it, it's, it's very difficult. And then, you know, we're about in, in the United States, we're two weeks, two and a half weeks away from being out of diesel fuel. Which is a very big deal. Very big deal. We're going to be out of diesel fuel. Um, There's a supply issue. um, And because of the proxy war that the US and NATO are fighting against Russia via Ukraine and all the upset it's caused, the United States is almost out of diesel um, fuel. And they've been talking about it on some channels, not on all Western media. Wait, 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 but you have a lot of oil. Like you have the Bakken oil fields. I'm talking about, so diesel is fuel is what like, runs trucks, like all our supplies, trains, everything. So when that runs out, if we don't have reserves, um, yeah, you can imagine. Shut down. So we're, yeah. And so we're, um, we're very close to that. And it was in the news a little bit. And then um, with the midterm elections, it's like, it just kind of got buried, but it'll come back up in the next week or so. Next week or so, they're still talking about what they're going to do to solve this issue with the okay. shortage of fuel. Uh, so I understand. Is it about refinery? Uh, because you do uh, have oil reserves in the state. We have reserves, but we've already tapped into the reserves. So so there's going to be, and then you have the feds are trying to stave off the risk, you know, what we're, because they say we're going into a recession. They're trying to stave it off with high interest. Hey, hey Reef, what did you bring up? You brought up an article? Yeah, yeah I see it's- U.S. diesel shortages squeeze uh, farmers, homeowners, and White House. U.S. diesel inventories are at near record lows, rating a wide swath of the economy from fuel suppliers to farmers. Um, yeah, I think it has to do with the diesel's not less refined than like just average petroleum. So nice. like we have right. petroleum so, reserves, but not what do you guys, large uh, diesel reserves. This link. I would like to read about it because I was following this. And you know what was surprised? It was a big surprise for me in the States. You actually guys almost don't have railroads. So no, you do have good roads, all right? But everything on trucks, uh, all the supplies, they run back and forth on trucks. Meaning mm-hmm. if you don't have diesel, it's a disaster. It's like a diesel. disaster. Even the trains, though, Maria, run on diesel. Um, oh, yeah. The trains Some here. Um, and we have a very, as you know, like, um, and I've been told by friends in Moscow how beautiful the subway system is there, you know, and, and I mean, it there's is. The in London. It, it, and look, it looks like, a, and now they have more. So they added one more circle. So Moscow is because it was a castle. It's all built by, by circles. And also oh. um, inside of the metro, the same thing. We have like the Sadoway, which, which was around the Kremlin. And the third um transport circle i don't know how to translate it but it doesn't matter and now we added one more and the okay love you guys but the new york metro uh washington uh dc uh metro is kind of fine uh it's pretty, it's pretty good it's well, like it's, paris, it's so right? slow it's kind of like the paris metro a little bit yeah but no, look yeah. just about this the states metro washington metro is so weird mean all this pain like you have to pay here so you go there in moscow it's one ticket mm-hmm. and uh, the the stations underground they just like monuments like museums yeah. They're beautiful and then i came to new york and oh oh 
like oh, all gross. this red yeah. and, and people and it's just really it's new york it's you guys disgusting. there are tortoise there i know you just I know. clean the mattress a bit you know i i, I know it's, it's super sad all right what are you showing there reef is that That's moscow, moscow metro yeah. well yeah, uh could you please uh show us uh mayakovska m a y k o v s k y a okay should be some clothes uh metro station is going to show it to you it's a green one okay. yeah that's it that's it i just my favorite one so sorry for showing it to you oh that's okay oh, that's uh, it's it's like a palace it's beautiful it's oh, really beautiful. this way well i hope i can see it someday yep maybe hopefully you know who knows you never know <laughs> yes you're always welcome though <laughs> yeah i would like that so um yeah and so back to what we were discussing about the diesel so that's going to be a big deal because that's going to um really shut things down but i notice that we're coming up after the midterms now now a bunch of things are going to happen for instance um you know the diesel fuel crisis is going to happen and the recession is probably going to kick in because a bunch of mass last week kind of got buried in the news of the midterm elections but there were mass layoffs in tech um intel as a big employer here in oregon just laid off thousands of people. Oh. Um, some other, I think there was like seven companies in total. Um, what was the other ones, Reef? Do you remember? Um, most of the major ones, but, um, but they're all kind of laying off. And of course, Twitter did. That was Elon Musk doing his thing, but that this was a little different. I just had a thought. So mm -hmm. Maybe he's talking about firing all these people because of politics, but the real reason is that they just don't want to pay them. Meaning everybody cuts the stuff. And uh, so let's say you want to yeah. kind of find a different reason. And you show it's like, oh, uh, it's a principle in politics and you're going to uh, mm -hmm. hire new people and you probably won't. Yep. Yep, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm just wondering if the platform is going to exist, um, continue to exist, but we'll find out. Hopefully, I mean, I mean, it's useful for people that are doing business and, and doing communication type things. It, it is a useful platform, but, you know, who knows? We lived without it before. We'll live without it again. We'll find well, something. We have a different one. We have our Russian one. It's called what VK. It, what's that? It's what's called it VK. Called? VK. It's like V, like victory. Mm -hmm. And K, VK.com, uh, okay. and that are you. Uh, it's an interesting one. So me as a parliamentarian, I love it because I have a lot of people who can, um, people who vote for me. They can actually talk to me through the platform and I do it on my own. Meaning I don't have special okay. staff who would be dealing with that because I just love people. Uh, I spent four months in um, solitary confinement. I love people. I learned yeah. my lesson. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but it's not a lesson from the American government. It's the lesson from God. And mm -hmm. he he's um, he just showed me that we were born to be to be around people and I love people. Mm -hmm.